All right, so let's factor out a quadratic. Let's look at x squared minus 5x and then plus 6. And then we'll look at x squared minus, plus 5x plus 6. So quick reminder, when you see a quadratic, usually you'll see it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And this just means, of course, that at some part in the quadratic, like here there's 6 and 6, you'll have a c term or just a number by itself. And that could be anywhere, but look for a number by itself. Look for a, a number b times a variable x. You see it right here and here. And also look for a number a times x squared, which you see here and here. Now, the c value is 6 in both cases. Here the b value is negative 5, here it's positive 5, and the a value in both is just 1. Often you won't see us write the number 1. It's just a little bit redundant, right? Because 1 times x squared is x squared, so why write it? It doesn't change the value. So how do we factor these? Well, in both cases, right, we have two, we're going to have two factor pairs. And we'll start with x in both. Okay. And our goal of both of them is to find factors of 6 that add up to the b term. So in this case, it's good factors of 6 that add up to negative 5. And I know right away that I've got to add up to get a negative term. So I need to use factors of 6 that multiply to a positive. So it's only going to be a positive factor times a positive factor. Or a negative times a negative factor. That'll also give us a positive 6. Remember that rule of negative times negative. So I need to get a negative b term, I'm going to use the negative factors of 6. I'm going to use negative 2 times negative 3. Those will be my factors. So negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. It also adds to negative 5. So all I do now is put a negative 2 here and a negative 3 there. I could have reversed it. I could have put negative 3 here and negative 2 here. That doesn't matter. Um, and, but in this case over here, notice with a positive 6 over here, I need to multiply two factors to get a positive 5. So what two numbers multiply to get 6 and add to positive 5? Well, in this case, it's just 2 times 3. So here we'll put a positive 2 and a positive 3. And if we could, we could check these out if we want to. Here, x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. If we simplify this, we get x squared. Combine these two terms, minus 3x and minus 2x, you get minus 5x. And then we add 6. So that checks out, right, because it, it does bring us back to this original form. Here, this also should check out. x times x is x squared. And x times 3 is 3x here, right? 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. If we simplify this when we get x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so this is a video really about pointers or um, tips to take away with factoring a quadratic. We want to focus on what does it mean if c is positive. So in both cases here, c is positive 6 and positive 6. So it's positive. One of two things happened. Either both factors were positive, positive 3 and positive 2, or both factors were negative, negative 3 and negative 2. And that's my tip for you. Now, not one for memorizing. We'll talk about why this makes sense in a moment. But let's say that if the c term is positive, one of two things will happen. Both of your factors will be negative or both of them will be positive. That will always happen. Here's why. Well, if C is positive, right, you're trying to find two terms that multiply to get a positive value. And they could either add to a negative or positive. What's the only way to multiply two things and get a positive? Well, there's only two ways to do it. The first way is to multiply two negatives because a negative times a negative is a positive. The second way is to multiply two positives, because a positive times a positive is positive. So either 
When you're finding those C factors that add to B, look for two negatives or two positives, and that will always be that way. Because, you know, that last step, and if, if you're still not convinced, let's just clear this off real quick. So I want to show why the factors can't alternate. Um, let's just say we start with x plus 3 times x minus 2. And what I mean when I say the factors can't alternate, that means, well, one's positive and one's negative. So this can't happen if c is positive. If c is positive, this can't happen. And we can just multiply this out to see why that makes sense. Let's use a distributive property. So x times x is x squared. x times minus 2 is minus 2x. 3 times x is 3x plus 3x. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Simplify this, we get right, x squared plus x, because that's 3x and minus 2x minus 6. So this can only happen if the c term is negative. So again, the tip is if c is positive, either both factors will be negative or positive. That might help you solve some of these quadratics. All right, hope this helps.